Hi, I'm Cameron Sheets with Querity. Morning from LA. Hi, Cameron. Hi, Cameron. For starters, I'm kind of curious to hear about how the two of you first met. I mean, Tilda, as I understand it, you were already familiar with Julio's work prior to reading the script, correct? I was, and I was uh, delighted to hear that he wanted me to read something. I, I, I adored his work, and I was pretty much uh, imagining that whatever he would have written, I would be interested in, but but this was something else. Yeah, of course. And I mean, Julio of Tilda's work, I, I imagine there are certain roles or projects that are touchstones for you. Are there are there ones that feel especially impactful? I mean, so many. Uh, Orlando obviously comes to mind. All the all the work with uh, Bong Joon Ho and, and Wes Anderson and uh, Tilda's such a such a fountain. It just keeps it just keeps coming. It just keeps coming <laughs> and. Uh, it's it's hard to uh, it's hard to say because it's almost like oh every year there's one two three incredible. <laughs> for, for I'm gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> it's like wow. Tilda, I did see the smirk when you were described as a as a fountain. I mean, does that I feel love accurate? That. <laughs> I love that. Well, look, I mean, there's fountains of all sorts of things. I mean, I, I was thinking of some ghastly sewage sort of, you know, ge geezer sort of, you know, bursting. When he said it, I have to say, and then something in my mind said, no, think of a nice fountain. No, a nice a chocolate fountain. fountain. A fountain. <laughs> yes, of course. There's plenty of nice fountains out and there. The fountain. Yeah, exactly. But no, I, I'm, I promise I'll stop sooner or later. But I'm glad I didn't stop before Julio rang me up. Oh, I'm curious what most compelled you about this story in particular? I mean, are there elements of either Alejandro or Elizabeth's stories that you felt you saw yourself in in some way, in one way or another? I certainly wanted to see this film. I, I think that the, 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 you know, the opportunity to sort of look through this crack at the, the living experience of outsiders of different, of different stripe. Um, I mean, everyone, the, the protagonists are all Outsiders, I've lived my life as an artist in it, within a milieu that sort of always considered itself, claimed outsider status or tried to make it work for us. You know, you've got to, you know, you, you've got to name it yourself because you don't want somebody else to name it uh, for you. And I, and so that was all, was very familiar to me. And I was really intrigued to, 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 to see a film, particularly outsiders in the art world. I don't know the, the New York outsider world so well, but I was just very intrigued to see, um, this love story progress between these two people who were drawn together. It, it's like they, they're sort of carrying something across a, a very rocky terrain, like a, a flame or a sort of bucket of tar or something. And they're both trying to carry something together. And one of them's very short and one of them's very tall. I mean, it's, it's, very, it's very perilous, their progress together. Um, but, they, but they share this mission to get this thing, well, in fact, two things, over the wire. And the way in which they're bonded in this endeavor but at the same time are so at odds so much of the time, I just find extremely moving and also very normal. I mean, very common, very easily uh, related to. We see it all the time, people being drawn together in these, in, in, in these endeavors. I love hearing you describe it as a love story. I mean, that is, there is, we do see that develop, this, this strengthening of their bond. I, um, to pivot a, a, a little bit, just a little bit, Julio, I know that this film is, based in, in some sense on your lived experience, though by no means is this a factual account of any time in your life. Uh, I, I think with that in mind, though, are there certain facets of, you, you know, just living in New York or, or maybe what you went through at the time that you really wanted to be sure you were capturing accurately here? I really wanted the Alejandro's journey to feel like a, uh, like a series of problems, like a cascade of like a domino, like a, this problem happens and then that problem happens and that problem happens and then that problem happens. And it's like, she gets mad at him. So now he has to burn CDs and now he, 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 he needs to pay for the CDs. And now, and now he doesn't have enough money for that. And it's like, so like that, like problems attracting problems, uh, that was very important. Like how everything is so difficult and how everything is actually the the less money you have the more expensive things are it it, it just just sort of like that quicksand feeling was very important and, and i 
I really struggled cutting problems out of the movie. Like there was this scene where like my my character it, he he runs out of battery and he only has twenty dollars and he he decides to go buy a phone charger and the phone charger is twenty dollars. So he's like making the math of like do I need the charge and like even like that 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 is no longer in the movie but like that spirit of like the constant fighting against the current i i really wanted that to be there and of course the movie takes a lot of a lot of liberties that don't actually happen like i don't think a curator would call you and say we need a show tomorrow but <laughs> uh those have mattered less to me than the than the issues yeah of course unfortunately the last question that is burning inside of me is is tilda have have you have you used Craigslist at all, or were you or are you familiar with Craigslist? I just, I, I just had to know. <laughs> I know what Craigslist is. Yeah, and I imagine that Craigslist looks exactly like that. I mean, I'm. I, let's say that I'm resting on that fantasy. I haven't found <laughs> out that Craigslist doesn't look exactly like that. So that's my, and that's my privilege. Yeah, I, well, we're speaking about <laughs> the accuracies of the film. I, that I think, yeah, you kind of nailed it there. Craigslist yeah. looks like. Glamorous yeah. Larry Owens and a bunch of junk. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, that is my time. I really appreciate it. This movie is is really really wonderful. So thank you both. Um, I appreciate it and have a have a lovely day. Thank you very much, and you too. Thank you. Thank you.